Just a quick question. Any idea how long you can hand in harness? Just keep watching. In fact, after a fall, presuming you are not harmed, is something limited in time. You will faint and die. Yes, it's lethal if you don't take the right action. You can only stay there for let's say 15 minutes or so. This is called HST or hang suspension trauma. Here is how it works. In fact, the heart is not strong enough to pump all the blood through the whole of your body. So it needs help. And this help can be found into the skeletal muscle pumps. And these pumps are to be found in the legs and only work during a contraction of the leg muscles. The vents in these pumps are squeezed, which makes the blood to be pushed upwards to the heart. And then you have the valves that make sure that the blood doesn't drop down and that doesn't flow back. If there's no more movement in the legs when the body is in an upright position, the blood will not anymore be pumped and thus stay in the legs. The veins extract and keep the blood in the legs and as a result of that there's less blood to go to the heart and brains. Then as a consequence less oxygen which makes the victim to faint. Now due to the pooling of the blood things get complicated. This blood undergoes chemical reaction and it becomes poisonous. A situation that becomes irreversible after a certain time. And this is why some people advise to, in such case, not to bring the legs of the victim into an upright position. So what happens after a fall or what happens after a fall is that the victim will feel itself weak and out of breath followed by some moments of warmth, sweating and paleness. Well, this is a sign that the muscle pumps do not function and that there is a fall in blood pressure. And if this situation keeps on, the heart rate will go up and the blood pressure will raise. In this phase, the victim can become nauseous, dizzy and will suffer from a blurred view. Frequently after the race in heartbeat, a diminished heart rate and blood pressure can set in. This is to be caused by a weakened heart muscle with an acute oxygen drop as a result. This phase will be damaging, will be very damaging for the victim. All this combined with fear, panic. Therefore, with making a risk analysis bear these effects in mind. And also, do not forget to give enough attention for safe and evacuation of the victim after a fall. And even a small quick tip, uh, I would advise to use foot slings. It's just a tiny small sling that you can attach to your harness, so that enables you to stretch your legs when you're hanging your harness. Well, we're again at the end of this video. I uh, just hope again that all of these tips were helpful and it tells you more what happens when you fall when wearing a harness and even when you do not have any signs of lesions or whatever, it's still a very dangerous situation. I will tell more on what to do and what the consequences are in the next video. So keep watching and see you next time. Bye.